All right. <clears throat> so while you're gone, Jokic beat Giannis in the Bucks. Mm-hmm. By the way, have yeah. you seen Giannis's tweet? Uh uh-uh. uh. About the trend that he started? Oh, about the cross legs? Yeah. Thing? Yeah, I did. Um, I thought that was pretty funny. By the way, that is something. Team chemistry matters. Guys liking each other matters. Mm-hmm. And the Bucks lead the league in that. Yeah. In good vibes. And on a playoff run, that absolutely matters. But go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so he also beat Philly. He being Jokic. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. The, 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 Jokic beat Philly. Yep. But Embiid sat out and didn't even join the team on the bench. Mm-hmm. Seems like Embiid couldn't rise to the challenge. That's not true. But go ahead. Denver has big games against the Suns and Warriors over the final stretch. Even you now have to admit that Jokic is in the driver's seat for this MVP thing. Okay. I don't think he's in the driver's seat. Tim Bontemps just released his updated straw poll. It is. Basically dead even. It was a weird thing. Jokic got the most first place votes in Bontem Straw Poll, but Embiid was the winner because you get points for first, second, third, you know, and so in, Jokic had more thirds. Embiid was basically first or second Everything, on right. enough ballots that it over and it, Jokic had a few thirds. Uh it, it really I didn't I don't think Giannis should be discounted. Right. I mean, last night I know Drew Holiday had 51. Giannis also had a 37 point triple double. Um I don't think Giannis should be discounted in this. I don't, I actually give Embiid credit for putting team success above the MVP. By sitting out? Yeah, Yeah. because the medical staff clearly thought he needed the game off because he's been dealing with something. He knew, because he already cooked up Jokic in their first meeting. If he did it a second time, he could have basically, I think, eliminated Jokic from the conversation. He didn't. His team loses, but Embiid was very good last night, and they beat the Mavs. I feel like you got to go out there and kill him on that. <laughs> well, I listen. I understand that. Any it, other game, sit out. I just, I just, I didn't sit out the next game. No, <laughs> of course, I, I get it. I think the, but I understand that that is Embiid showing the world, like I am really focused on winning. And here's right. the thing: Embiid's never made round three. Not the finals. He's never made a conference finals. He's got to break through. The best players in league history to never make a conference finals. It's like Dominique Wilkins and Bernard King. They, they, they who were Hall of Famers. Right. But Bernard's career was derailed due to injury. Dominique was in the East in the 80s, had to deal with Bird and the and Michael and this Pistons. Like it was a brutal spot. They weren't guys finishing in the top two MVP three straight years. And so Right now, I think the ballot should be Embiid by a hair over Giannis, then a bit of a gap, and then Jokic. But we'll see how it will. will, It is going to come down to the final week. It's going to come down to the final week. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show, and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts, or... Just click the link in the description below.